Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to spawn enemies randomly. First of all, we need an enemy prefab. Let's create one. I already have an enemy spreadsheet, so I just take one of the frames and drag and drop it to my project. It's a clown. <laughs> I think it's quite funny to have a clown as an enemy. Anyway, let's rename it to enemy clown. This enemy gonna need some components. One of it is a rigid body 2D with gravity scale equals to 2 to let our clown fall a bit faster and we need to freeze its Z rotation. Next component is a box collider. It's needed to collide with our player. Let's edit it a little bit to fit the clown's body. Another component is a Sokal Collider, which will be used as walking base. Edit it a little bit too, and put it right by Cloud's feet. and a bit in the middle of the sprite to be neat. Let's check it out. Clown falls. Ah, I forgot one thing, which is to set collision detection to continuous. Let's do it. Now drag and drop our enemy to prefab folder to create an enemy clown prefab. This let us instantiate it as needed. We can remove this enemy now from the sea. Now we need a game object that will be spawning our enemies. Let's create empty game object and call it enemy spawner. And put it right here for example. Let's check the boundaries of where we want to spawn our enemies in X coordinate. Now the right boundary has about 8.4 value. and the left one has about minus 8.4 value. Now our enemy spawner needs a script. Add a new C sharp script to it. Let's call it enemy spawner script. Drop it to the script folder to be organized and open it in monodevelop. script has to contain the following code public game object enemy float rand x which means random x vector 2 where to spawn public float spawn rate equals 2, which means 2 seconds, and float next spawn equals to 0. The next code will be in the update method. If time that time more next spawn then next spawn equals time dot time plus spawn rate. Randex equals random dot range. Mm -hmm. 
minus 8.4 and 8.4 where to span equals new vector 2 random x comma transform dot position dot y and instantiate enemy comma where to spell comma and quaternion identity which means no rotation that's it. Don't forget to save our script. Select the enemy spawner game object and drag and drop the enemy clown prefab to enemy slot in enemy spawner script company. Let's check what we've got. Enemies are spawning randomly. They can't harm the player right now so we can push them off from the platform, jump over them and so on. Let's tweak spawn rate a bit and see the changes. If we set 5, then enemies will be spawned every 5 seconds. One means one enemy per second. We are free to set any possible rate we want, even this. Enemy rain, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching, see you next time.